Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, a rising sign. In fact, wherever Aries influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. So let's get right into it. We're going to do the oracle card spread, full oracle card spread here on YouTube. And then if you'd like, there's an extended reading below that includes an extended full tarot spread and a romance reading. Once again, that link is below. Okay, Aries, let's get into this energy. Aries, sun, moon, rising, a sun, moon, rising for the next seven days. This is for the week ahead. So whenever you're seeing this video, this is the energy for the next seven days, how it will affect you, impact your life. Any messages that need to come through, Aries, 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 energy of Aries, Aries for the next, for the week ahead, week ahead for Aries, 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 energy. You know, everything wants to just flow out today. It's almost like everything is in perfect order, like in a syncopated order. Like it's really like the cards are just sort of streaming out is what I'm saying. They're not flying. They're just sort of gliding out. So what that suggests to me, okay, be peace. Um, this is usually unrest or unbalanced, but I don't think this is your crowning energy. Your crowning energy is here. Be playful and then be peace is later on. So we'll get to that card. Your crowning energy is be playful. This is a lucky time for you. It's a fortunate time. It's a happy time. It's an easy time. And I know it's like, well, where do I go from that as a reader? If it's just good times, it's generally speaking, this week is going to be light, not too deep, not too difficult to deal with. Um, you kind of got to kind of, you're kind of going to be able to just sort of skip through it. In fact, not taking things too seriously, but having a more, I don't want to say sarcastic, but if sarcasm is the way that you're playful, go at it. This is an energy of staying on the surface with things and not digging too deep. Um, yeah, but let's, let's get into, it should be easy and fun. Now, this is five plus one, 51. Five plus one is six. This is a six. So six is the energy of love, love and romance. It's the number of the lovers in the original tarot deck. So I always think of love and romance. So it could just be that you're having a really good time with the person that you love or the person that you're with, or... It could have to do with you being very, very lucky and having a lot of positive momentum and energy when it comes to playing the field. Playing, be playful. True that, playa. That's like, that's like Aries. I don't know. What kind of field are you playing? What kind of games are you playing? Whatever it is, it's fun and it's lighthearted. Keep it fun. Keep it lighthearted. Don't get too deep with anything. Now is a lucky time. So fortune favors the lighthearted this week. And that would be you, Aries. This is um, your luck being multiplied. Uh, yeah, it could also mean fertility. Um, you could, <laughs> oh shit, I just heard this. It could also be getting lucky. Ooh, Aries, bomb chicka bom bom. This is about getting lucky. It could very well be about being playful, casual, casual interactions with people. A lot of them. Are you on some hedonistic retreat this week, Aries? I don't know. But this is the energy of don't take anything too seriously. Stay playful, stay lighthearted, and keep going. Like you have the you have the energy of, of the energizer bunny this week, Aries. I mean, I can't not say it. This is what it's about. I feel like I'm cross-eyed. This is crazy. Aries, what is about? What is, what are you, what are you up to? That's what I, well, it seems like something's up. Mm -hmm. Well, this is just definitely about being lucky. Getting lucky. Um, fortune favors you this week. So if you want to take a chance or take a leap at something, go ahead. <laughs> See, I keep, I keep feeling it. It's almost like Phil Dunphy. I can't even, I can't even not see this energy now because this is about getting lucky being playful this is about a lot of good times a roll 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 in the hay that's what this is about and it could be about having multiple partners or having a lot of options it could also be about getting your partner pregnant if you're in a long-term relationship it could be about fertility and building your family and multiplying yourself 
It could also just be speaking to the fact that you're multiplying your own fortune by being playful and, and lighthearted this week. The suggestion here is to not take anything too seriously and bring a smile to people's faces. Yes, I, get, I heard it too, but this could even be in the boardroom. This could be in any situation. It doesn't have to be sexual. It could be in any circumstance. It's just that your energy is going to be best applied in a lighthearted way. Your fortune is going to come to you by you taking things lightly and not taking anything too seriously and just sort of rolling with the punches. Set healthy boundaries. This is like building for the future, an energy of making sure that what's moving forward is something that you can sustain. Is this... Um, are you holding up healthy boundaries? Maybe you're allowing too much in. Maybe you're taking too many chances. Maybe you're being too risque. Maybe you're going overboard. Maybe there's a chance of you indulging too much. Watch out for unexpected pregnancies is all I got to say to you, Aries. Act as if. Oh, this is a suggested energy, suggesting that maybe just maybe you're going to fake it till you make it this week. An energy of you're really not all that happy underneath. And so you're staying in the shallows to try to avoid a sense of what's really happening below the surface. And what's really happening below the surface is clearly not something that you want to share. There's something guarded and hidden. It's like this outward playful energy that seems so much fun in the beginning is really now coming off as sort of a disguise or a mask that you're wearing to sort of hide something else. Surrender now. This is about being truthful and honest with yourself. This is also about Sagittarius season, Aries. Oh, you know what? If you're on platforms that allow for commercials, I'm going to slide one in here. I appreciate your patience and I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Thank you so much for having patience with me and watching that commercial. It actually is support for the channel, so I really appreciate it. Um, moving on with the message, act as if, act as if. So this is a change, but it may be a forced change. It may be a change that you really didn't want. And that's why I'm saying watch out for unexpected pregnancies because there could be, it could be crossing over a boundary that you weren't ready to cross over yet and you feel like you have to hide your feelings. It's almost like this mentality areas of, pretending that you're happy about something that you're really not happening, ha happy about, but this is happening right now. So it's almost like being confronted with, um, it's about being confronted with something that you weren't ready to deal with or that you didn't expect. And your first reaction is to try to pretend like you're happy about it, but you're really, you're really not. And this is definitely popping off in the next seven days. This is a Sagittarius card. This is like a moth to a flame. You almost sort of feel like you're being <laughs> fed as a sacrificial lamb in some ways and you're afraid that you're going to get burned and you're just sitting there pretending like you're not pretending like you're having a really good time to hide this this real sincere worry that you have going on underneath spirit has your back so this is a message coming through of support and now we understand why this card came out because there's a lack of balance here there's a lack of maybe truth maybe honesty um something is just not balanced it's, it's imbalanced and so there's not peace and there's a little bit of chaos and in other words things might get out of control you might you might have the the tendency to be a little bit too self-indulgent this week for the next seven days out aries um so this is a warning it's like listen spirit's got your back it's got you covered but watch out for this like like understand that maybe just maybe also a leader or somebody in leadership position is watching your behavior, watching to see how you behave toward this. So it's not necessarily a test, but it's almost like this isn't a time when you're going to get away with the frivolity that you want to get away with. And if you're indulging in a lot of frivolity, um, you could be caught out. <sighs> yeah. So listen, at least you know it. We have to get one more card and your grounding energy, Aries. I get one more card and your grounding energy. This could also imply that you are thrown off balance because you just got information that something that you believed in or something that you trusted was not what it said it was. And it has really thrown you off balance and made you feel like, what? Turkey spirit, give with grace and gratitude. Um, but this is about feeling like you've been giving too much, feeling like you've been robbed and stripped and set upon. It's almost like feeling taken advantage of. 
that's not your grounding energy, but it's it's actually ungrounding energy. It's an energy of feeling disconnected and feeling used, feeling like a oh, turkey. Remember, this could have something could have been happening over Thanksgiving that really set you off and really threw you off. And it's even though, you, in other words, you found this out around Thanksgiving and it was revealed to you, and and you put on a happy face and you put on a smile and you pretended like it didn't bother you, but oh, it bothered you. And on the surface. You're very, very happy. You're pretending that everything is okay, like you got this under control. But I think that that could be why you are overindulging. In other words, maybe you indulge in too much drink. Maybe you indulge in too much partying. Maybe you indulge in too much sex. Maybe you're just overindulged in general on whatever. Because the bottom line is this overindulging was a reaction to what's really going on inside of you. Well, on the surface, you're just, you're like overcompensating. You're trying to pretend like you're happy when you're really not. When it feels like you just got a shock of a lifetime and um, you really don't know what to do with it. And so you want to appear in control like it didn't bother you. But this is definitely some word or information that came in. Um, yeah, and people are either people are watching to see how you react to it, to sort of like follow your lead. Maybe this is another thing like you know people are watching to follow your lead and you want to set a good example or... You don't want it to bother them or whatever news it was you want to like hold it together and be strong on the surface but the bottom line is this is this is not something that makes you feel settled it makes you feel unsettled this is something unexpected it doesn't necessarily have to be bad for example it could be an unexpected pregnancy right that's not necessarily bad but it is something that is let's say if if it is that you're not as happy as you pretended you were that's just what i want to say yeah Something has been put on the on the mindset. Something has been put in front of you. Time for a beginner mindset. Something has been exposed or shown. Like there's your grounding energy. Time for a beginner mind. This is you being bristly and defensive. You know, it's like you're trying to dress it up as in, oh no, this is just my new jacket. Yeah, your jacket's made of spikes that you can shoot at people whenever, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not just your jacket, it's your defensiveness. And so you're trying to festoon yourself in what looks like playful energy and happiness, but that's, and you're overcompensating by just basically staying in the shallows because something is really bothering you. You're very defensive about it and you're ready. You're standing at the ready to defend yourself and let it shine. Um, this is, I think, advice number one that says, be honest with yourself, be honest about how you're really affected about this news or about this revelation, be honest with yourself and let it out. And I feel like by the end of this week, you are going to absolutely, it's going to come bursting from you. You're not going to be able to hide this anymore. It's just going to be full reveal. But at the same time, this could also be about the spotlight being shown on whatever almost like clarity or the light being cast or um yeah somebody telling you something that um, made you understand the situation better um news information coming out and i don't think it was it's settling you but it may help you understand things a little bit better this could also just be speaking to the revelation that you're dealing with and this could be something out of the blue out of the blue but from the past like something that you thought was over something that you thought had ended and all of, now all of a sudden it comes back from the past and it's really making you bristle and really making you pissed off and I feel like you had tried to really get away from this you had tried to be okay with this but there was somebody who took advantage of you there was somebody who was manipulative and took advantage of you they took a big piece out of you hold on I'm going to turn the camera angle around so that you can see and here you go so this is your whole spread crowning your energy this is your crowning energy and this is your grounding energy and crowning your energy this week is simply this this effect of playfulness you want to give the impression that you're happy that oh nothing's bothering me look and look i'm having some good times and this over here is that overindulgence of now is a lucky time to set healthy boundaries but act as if so it's almost like you're pretending like everything is okay. Like you're pretending, oh, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's not all good. Surrender to the reality that is, there is some news that you just received that completely threw you off, that made you feel completely taken advantage of. This could have to do with the legal, legal government, 
um, something to do with legal or government or, you know, it's, it could be just like surrender now, surrender now to, um, this is once again, um, the Libra energy. This is Libra energy, justice, peace, balance, right? Be peace but you're not peace. There's something unbalanced. It's almost like, it's almost like the judgment card in reverse. So a judgment has been come, has come down against you and you really feel completely and totally gutted like a turkey. Like this is, this is not willingly giving something. This is almost like you're feeling like you're being forced into giving something. And you know, it's like you, the only way out is to give up, but you don't want to, you're actually really pissed about it. And you actually want to fight or expose this situation. Yeah, you, you, want to, you want to put some sort of expose on it. Or this expose could have been the situation itself. Because it just came out of the blue or it came up again. Because this is a Scorpionic energy. This is a Scorpio card. Of it almost coming back almost like from the dead. Like coming up you thought it was over with. But like a phoenix rises again. It rose again. And, and it's, it's really bugging you that it's not over with. Um, that's, that's what I'm getting. So I feel like the truth, the cent the central energy is surrender. Um, accept it, accept what is going on and what is happening to you. I'm not saying accept it lying down, but don't work to hide it or pretend like everything is okay, because that's really not going to help you actually deal with what's going on over here. There is definitely something that you don't want to talk about, or you're not ready to talk about yet Aries. So by the end of the week, I have a feeling, even if it's just because it may be that you're forced to talk about it out of self-defense. And that's when the truth comes out. And that, that's the defense you use is by speaking about it and letting the truth out. That's a good way to go, actually, because the truth is going to come out anyway. Let's go across and I'm going to pull, uh, pull a full tarot spread um, about what exactly is going to be coming out and the ultimate outcome of um, the ultimate outcome of all these things that are being revealed. And I'll also um, pull a romance reading for you guys. All right. I'll, I'll see you over there.